Hi, it's Brendan from Wilcom with a quick pro tip on how you can get an awesome vector stitch like effect in Corel Draw using an embroidery design. So I've got this embroidery design that I've created and it's a normal design with objects and I've got a very open satin stitch. Now if I take this embroidery design and copy and bring it across to Corel Draw and just paste it in what you get are solid shapes because they're vector shapes and they're filled with color and you lose that stitching effect but what you can do as a bit of a tip and trick is go back to your embroidery file make sure you save it as an EMB file so you've got a copy of that in EMB format then go to file export machine file then save it as a stitch file like a Tajima DST then close that off Go back and reopen that file. But when you open that DST file, make sure you go to Options and turn off Objects and Outlines. You don't want it checked. Then go Open. And that opens that DST file. Instead of it coming in as an editable object, they are now just single stitches because it's a stitch file. That means I can select that, copy, Again, go back to Corel Draw. This time, go Edit, Paste, Special. And this time, it brings it in as lines, just like they were as stitches before. And being a vector, it is endlessly scalable. And I can also modify the line thickness, 0 0.5, and even the line style. And that's how you can take an embroidery design and easily convert that to stitch-like vector lines.